Three officials from the Renisterberg municipality in the Northern Cape have briefly appeared in the local magistrate court on charges of fraud, the contravention of Municipal Finance Management Act and the contravention of the Pension Act. They stand accused of helping themselves to the pension fund of workers in the municipality. Although the matter has been postponed to the 19th of November, SABC News reporter Tabiso Khadebe spoke to 67-year-old Jane DeHart, one of the workers who wanted to go on retirement but was told the municipality had no money. We are outside the Petrasville Magistrate Court here in the Northern Cape where uh, three suspects uh, appeared on fraud charges. The case has been postponed to November but with me here is one of the uh, people, uh, municipal workers who uh, are affected by this uh, particular uh, issue. Uh, she is uh, Jane DeHart. Jane, uh, tell us about this uh, particular uh, uh, challenges uh, of, of your pensions that you encountered at the municipality. What happened? I want to go on pension in 2020 because my husband was also retired at ESCO. And when I asked the retirement fund, what is my pension on that uh, stage, they told me they never uh, paid out our uh, pension from our salary, what was, deduct what was deducted for our salary, over to the pension fund. So now, I understand that there's many of people who are affected by this. How are you keeping since you are told that you're not going to get your money? This is a, this is by a milk. But I'm going every day to work so that I can get my salary. I'm working 34 years at the municipality in Van der Kloof. And I was doing my job well. So, Jane, before this case was opened by the Hawks in 2018, or rather, the Hawks opened the case in 2018, you also opened a case in 2020, 2021. Tell us about it. I gave me an attorney, and um, he, was, he was willing to help me. He's an expert on the municipality's um, cases. And um, in October 2023, the court, uh, the High Court in uh, Kimberley set an agreement with the municipality for four years. You were in court today with your husband. I can see that your husband is support, supporting you. But how the family, how has this affected your family? Obviously, somehow your, your life is shattered. Yes, they steal my golden years from me and my husband and also my two daughters and my granddaughters. That is not... I'm, I'm very... I'm very emotional about this, really. The three suspects appeared in court today in this particular case. What do you want to see happening? I want to see them paid and pay for this. I don't know what is the court's uh, decision, but I cannot uh, longer serve in the municipality or in any uh, municipality or any department of uh, of the, uh, the uh, government. Hmm. There you have it. Uh, one of the uh, workers at the municipality in Renostoberg uh, who was affected by this uh, particular incident where uh, monies, pension monies of uh, workers were uh, sort of uh, uh, taken. She wanted to go on retirement, but she was told that uh, there's no money uh, that will pay her on when she's going to uh, the retirement. But now the case has been postponed to November. They appeared, all the three suspects appeared in court on charges of uh, contravention of Municipal uh, Finance Act and also the fraud charges and also a contravention of uh, the Pension Act. So we're going to be talking to a couple of people here, including the South African uh, Municipal Workers Union, to tell us about taking this case uh, forward so that people get their money uh, back. And also there were some of them who wanted to apply for your two-port system, but they will not manage because there is no money in their 
uh, 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 pension. There, there was nothing contributed to the administrators of the pension. So it's a, 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 a set stories that we, we have come across here in the uh, Renosterbeck uh, municipality.